Now, since I have discussed this inclusive growth, answer question number 6. Which of the following can aid in furthering the government's objective of inclusive growth? What do you mean by inclusive growth? Growth making making the economic growth inclusive means it has to include all the sections of the country. Okay. Now by promoting self-help groups, who will get benefited? Who will be included? Who are there in self-help? You have studied self-help groups or you will study in self-help groups? Basically in India self-help groups, majority of the self-help groups are women. So, promoting self-help groups results in making women inclusive of the group. Then promoting micro, small and medium enterprises. Now, try to understand that see normally, normally our earlier growth model was like that. The economic growth benefited only the upper section or up the rich section. The uh, rich people became more richer, poor people became more poorer. That is why we came this concept uh, inclusive growth. So, the majority of the people are dependent on agriculture in India. Try to understand that even though agriculture contribution to GDP is 17 percentage or less, nearly half of the population is dependent on agriculture. So, if the agriculture is not growing, it will affect the livelihood. So, we need to ensure that the agriculture sector is being promoted. That is why the government is giving so many schemes for the agriculture sector. Then after agriculture sector, majority of the people are livelihood is depending on our major employment generating sector is small and medium enterprises. So, if you promote them micro small and medium enterprises what it will result? It will result in inclusive growth. Now, what is this right to education act is all about? Right to education guarantee free education for all the children from 6 to 14 years of old. Now, who will benefit? by implementing by effectively implementing right to education it is do you think that rich people people uh, son or daughter will benefit by right to education act no common man or poor person so implementing right to education will ensure these children will get primary basic education and that in future will result in part of so this all see normally what will happen is normally education providing education to the children is the responsibility of parent Yes or no? The parents should have earning income to provide that uh, education to them. Now, for the poor family who are living a BPL family, how can they send their children to school? They will they will become child labor. But effectively implementing Right to Education Act will ensure that from this section also the students will go and attend school. So, implementing Right to Education Act will also ensure ensure this goal of inclusive growth. So, answer is 1, 2 and 3, 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Now, I will discuss in relation to a very, very simple concept, but very important. I am going to discuss in relation to this 